Hello and welcome to Liar Liar. If I believe it's like a short, uh, what I was thinking was it a visual novel or a kinetic novel? I actually can't remember right now. I think it's just like a short kinetic novel. Um, about a, uh, well, a Yandere girlfriend who wants to kill her boyfriend, I believe. And it's, uh, developed by Tokimeki Waku. I believe that's the, yeah, Tokimeki Waku is the developer. Let's just, let's just see what happens. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know. It's probably, probably at the same time cute, but also extremely violent. As you can see here, the blood on her face. Maybe it's just strawberry jam. Let's find out. Hi there. My name is Yukari, and I'm a middle schooler. This may be a little sudden, but I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna kill my boyfriend. Amazing. Why, you ask? Well, that's none of your business. And besides, it'll be way too long to tell you anyways. So, stranger, will you help me? Okay, we do have a choice. Uh, heck no. Oh, I see. That's too bad. Now I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh, bleh. That's what you get for not helping me out. Serves you right. Well, that was short. I guess we're finished. No, um, uh, I guess we don't have a choice. We do have to help her out. Otherwise, we die. Oh, so, why not? Really? Well then, what are you waiting for? Let's kill him! Yay! Okay, we're in the we're in the city. Oh, that looks like Tanaka from the baseball team. What is he doing here so early in the morning? Oh, hey, you got it. What are you doing here so early? I could ask the same for yourself. What you doing here? I thought club practice didn't start until 8 a.m. Actually, no, this isn't... Yeah, this isn't the city, it's just it's the school, I think, right? It's school? You see the little clock there? I don't know. Do schools have like a big clock in front of their main building? Mine didn't, so I don't know. Uh, I thought I'd get some extra practice before the team arrived. I see. You still haven't told me why you're here at school at, uh, or rather, you still haven't told me why you're st here at school at 6am, you gotti. There must be a reason, right? Hmm. Okay. But yeah, it's not a kinetic novel, actually. It is sort of like a visual novel, even though the choices are pretty shallow. Ah, uh, tell Tanaka the truth, or lie to Tanaka. Hmm. I mean... Lie. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, if we tell him the truth, he's gonna get involved, and Yukari is probably gonna kill him. So, in order to save his hide, we simply lie. Well, I was trying to pick up something that I left at school yesterday. At 6 in the morning? Yep. Yukari. If you're gonna lie, at least make it a believable one. Oh. Hmm. Damn, I should've known he would see you through my lie. If I knew this would have happened, I wouldn't have lied in the first place. Well, Tanaka, you caught me. That's not why I showed up so early to school today. I knew it. So what's the reason? You can tell me. I came here early so I catch my boyfriend by surprise. Your boyfriend? I need to catch him by, uh, by surprise to kill him, of course. Noni. This, this is a joke, right? No, nope, no joke. 100% truth. A lot of things have happened, Tanaka. And my boyfriend did something absolutely unforgivable. So I'm having him pay for it. With his life! Uh, you you are kidding? Nope. You, you can't just kill him. What are you talking about? Of course I can. I'm a, I'm a yandere. Yukari, that's... wrong. Jeez, Tanaka. I thought you would understand. I guess I have to kill you too. Since you know way too much. I'm, I'm, I'm calling the police. <laughs> Blit. Well, jeez, Tanaka, you could have you. I could have you go on and ruin my plan. I still haven't even got started, or still haven't even gotten started. It's too bad. You were here at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yay! Now all I have to do is get rid of the Bonnie and clean myself up. Hmm. No, well, this is a problem. Or should I get rid of the body and clean off all this blood? I got it! 
I'll just go to the girl's restroom. I'll store Tanaka's body in the old unused stall in the back. There's sinks and everything. I'm sure I can clean all this blood too if I move fast enough. Yay! <laughs> Everything's gonna work out. There, that should do it. Jeez, Tanaka. You're so heavy. Well, now that I got away, it's time to... Yeah! Oh my god! You're covered in blood! And did you just stiff a... Stuff a body in the last stall? Hmm. Nihau. You, you can cut the act. Haha. Uh -huh. You got me. I just want to act all surprised and junk. Like in those horror movies. And you could use a few more acting lessons to be honest. You really think so? I think I'm pretty good. I could probably be an actress. I'm quite joking around. This is Miho Sonada. He, she's a student council president of this school. She looks and acts like a big airhead. But honestly, I think she's just as messed up as me. But this is a pretty tight bind you're in, Minamada, uh, Minamira. Stuffing a body in the stall is a pretty big deal. Not to mention you're covered from head to toe in blood. How about I help you out, Minamira? And how are you gonna do that? Well, that's easy! I could provide a fresh, clean new uniform for you. I could keep quiet about this little body stall stuffing. I could also even help you out to get rid of the body. So what's the catch? You don't beat around the bush, do you? Well, in exchange, I'd like for you to kill a guy for me. Oh boy, we're gonna kill, a, kill another guy. Now, who is it? Just this guy who's been harassing me for weeks. Calls me daily around 16 times a day. Leaves tons of gifts in my locker. I once got, even caught him following me home from school. I wanna creep. I know, right? It's getting really out of control. The school won't do anything. And the police won't do anything either. I considered killing him myself, but... But you came along. I'm not very confident in my strength, but I know I can help you cover all of this up. If you're willing to work together, how about it, partner? <sighs> Partners in crimes, I guess. Partners in crime. A short thing, partner. Oh, goody, I knew you would agree and also be the, the the fallout. Or what do you call it? The person who takes all the blame when something goes wrong. That person is what I'm assuming. Let me lend you a spare uniform for now. There, all better, right? Or all better, right? I suppose so. So who is this person anyways? It's Owakabayashi from the theater club. That beanpole is stalking you? I'm afraid so. Well, this should be easy. The next body stuff in that locker will be him. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, before I forget. When she's writing something down on a piece of paper. Here's my phone number. Call me if you need anything, okay? Is this... It just seems like the, the prequel to like Yandere Simulator, actually. Right. Well, with that settled, I guess I got some work to do. I guess I should start with trying to find that shub, 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 Akabayashi. Or where would he even be, though? Or the, the theater room, the theater room. Now, if I'm correct, Akabayashi should be somewhere around here. Oh, I think that might be him right there. Why, if it isn't Midamida? What is a fine lady like you doing here so early? Well, as for me, I was getting ready to prepare for this week's stage performance. No one asked you. I am so very busy, don't even have that much time for beauty sleep. Not that I need it, of course. This week's performance is going to be our best, I'm sure. Also, what is this music? I assume it's... I assume it's, uh, copyright free. Because I'll be starring as the lead role. Don't talk too much, do you, Midimida? I have some business. Of, oh, I have some business with you, Wakabayashi. You don't say. I heard that you've been stalking someone from this school. Ugh. You've been harassing her day and night. You followed her home one time. Ring any bells? 
I have not a clue what you're talking about. Look, Wakabayashi. I know it's you. Just cough it up. I'm not playing around. Mida Mida, it, it wasn't me. Hmm. Are you, are you sure? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. There's no proof, so... Innocent until proven guilty? Hmm. I don't really have any tangible evidence to back up my claim. But I really don't think Miho was lying. Something fishy is going on, I'm going to figure it out. Right. Sorry about that, Wakabayashi. I don't really have any er any evidence other than that person telling me. So I'll let you slide, for now. Why thank you kindly, Mida Mida. Whatever, Wakabayashi. Oh, that reminds me. What is it? I just remembered that I needed to rehearse my lines for this week's play. And I'd just love for you to help me recite them. And why should I help you, Akabayashi? Oh, don't be so sour, Mida Mida. Won't you help a dashing young lad recite his lines for his school play? Fine, have it your way, Wakabayashi. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I'm glad you agreed. Why are we going along with this? I'll give you quite the performance. Come this way to the club room. Wakabayashi closed and locked the door behind him. Well, just what is he up to? So, who told you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Who told you I was stalking someone? Was it to you, Wakabayashi? It's one of the utmost importance that I know. One likes to know who accuses them of something. Come on, Mida Mida, won't you tell me? Nah. Well, I guess we now know that it's confirmed that he's the stalker. Well, fine, Mida Mida. You go on and be that way. A stubborn girl will never be found attractive, you know. But no matter. After I kill you, I'll just figure out that pesky llama who told you. And then I would have taken, their, taken care of everything or everyone who gets in the way of me and Miho. I guess everyone's just yandere in this school. Except Tanaka. I guess Tanaka is the only innocent victim in this story so far. Farewell, Mida Mida. Meh. Nani? Hmm, Yukari's kind of late. I wonder if she's okay. I don't think she's hurt or anything, but... Killing Wakabayashi shouldn't take this long. This is really troubling. Oh, Miho! Uh. What? Stunned? Speechless? Captivated by my charm, Miho. Is that blood on your face? Oh, this? Yeah, it is. A little birdie tried to attack me. Says that I was stalking you. Don't worry, though. I took care of it. You don't mean... That's right. I killed Yukari. Oops. I guess we're dead. If she's dead, I guess. we're. Well, who are we? We're the stranger, right? I don't know. We're the player, I guess. In a meta way. How could you? Oh, darling. Don't be upset. Since you'll be joining her very soon. Yabaro! Get away from me. There's nothing to worry about, darling. I'll make it quick. I promise. I'll join you right after Poppet. A Poppet? Poppet. Now get away from me, Wakabayashi. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Much. Oh, Mio, you're so beautiful. That end. Wakabayashi, night fever. Well, I guess the yandere got killed by another yandere. This time, I guess we're not believing in his lies. You are a liar, sir. You're a dirty liar, Wakabayashi. I reverse timed and now know that you are the true stalker. Ah, oh, boys are. Fine. Let's say that I indeed did stalk this person you're talking about. Do you have any tangible proof? The person you're stalking told me themselves that you're the one doing it. That's all the proof I need. That, that, that's just hearsay. Call it what you want. 
I know you're responsible and you're gonna pay for it. Look, look, I didn't stalk Miho, alright? I didn't mention who it was, Wakabayashi. Y Yukari, please. Don't use my name so casually, you little cockroach. Please, wait. <laughs> yeah, and then I laugh. Serves your your serves serves yo you no serves you right, Wakabayashi. I stab him over and 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 over. Serves him right for harassing a girl and also killing me in a different alternate timeline. And we're all bloody again. Oops. Ah, jeez, another uniform all dirty up. Doing another person's dirty work is so tedious. I better call Miho to help me clean up. Hey, Miho, it's me. I killed Wakabayashi for you. Help me clean him up. Oh, goody, I'll be right here. Oh, ho, ho. As flamboyant as always with the blood, aren't we, Yukari? Whatever, Miho. Just help me clean this guy up. Oh, wait, there's something I have to do real quick. Miho's walking towards the theater club room. What's she doing in there? I don't really care, but she better hurry up. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll help you carry the body to the bathroom now. Or for now. Just what were you doing in there, Miho? Hmm. Oh, I was just getting these. Miho hands me a bunch of photos. Now these are all... Photos of you. There are over a few dozen photos of Miho. Just sifting through them is disturbing. As some of her eating at school or walking through the courtyard. There's even one where she's eating with her family at home. There's even just more creep shots of her that, than I can count. It's a good thing that I killed this beanpole. Well, we did one good thing for the world, I guess? Good? In quotations? Lots of photos, right? I know he took a bunch of photos of me. But I can never be sure where he hid them. I thought I'd just check it out, just to be safe. Good thing he's so simple-minded. I wouldn't want anyone else to get a hold of these pictures. Nice. Right. Now let's get rid of this snob. A shub? Or was it shub? Oh, I say snoob. Uh, snoob? No, snob. It's, it's shub. Shub. Well, that should do it. Hmm. Why are boys so heavy? No idea. Unfortunately, I don't have a spare uniform this time. I do have a sports jersey for the time being, though. Or, uh, yeah, for her, well... Okay, I do have a sports jersey for the time being. It's her, it's Miho's sports jersey, I guess. Here you go. Eh... Well, I guess that's fine. Oh, Yukari, don't you know I have got your back? I wash out all the blood on the other uniforms so you can wear them soon. Well, thanks. Well, thanks for killing Wakabayashi, by the way. I don't worry about it. So what are you gonna do now? That's obvious. Kill my boyfriend, of course. I'm just curious. What did he do that was so awful that you decided to kill him? That's gonna be a long story. Well, I don't mind long stories. Fine, whatever you want. Okay. It was something that happened a few weeks ago. I wonder where he is. I was hoping we could hang out during lunch so we could eat together. I even woke up, uh, woke up, <laughs> woke up early to make lunch for him. A little bit of typos here and there. Oh, stop! Ah ha ha! No, it's true. That sounds like him. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. Nanny. Oh, credit! You're lying. No, it's true. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. I love you, Minami. Mm, exclamation mark. What's going on here? What? What are you even doing here, sis? Oh, Minami's our sister? I guess. The little do doki doki heart eyebrows runs in the family. What's the meaning of this? Y Yukari, calm down. Don't tell me what to do. I don't touch him. He's mine. He lied to me. He said he was my boyfriend. He said I was the only one. He lied to you too. No, he didn't. You're just jealous of me. I finally have a boyfriend that's good to me. 
and you're trying to take it away from me. Minami. It was never your boyfriend, Yukari. It was mine. You're just delusional. God, when are you going to be satisfied? Will you be satisfied when you take him away from me? Well, you're not going to. Hey, you're my boyfriend, right? Of course, Minami. Wait. See, Big Sis? He's mine. Now fuck off. Well, no. Yes. So he was dating you and your sister at the same time. And your sister is convinced that you're just making stuff up. And he chose your sister over you. That's disgusting. Just like all the harem protagonists. And that's why I have to kill him. Understandable. Good luck then, Yukari. Thanks. I've still got plenty of time to catch my boyfriend off guard and kill him. Hmm, the only problem is that he's usually never alone. This is going to be a problem. If he's going around too many people, I won't be able to finish them all off. If only I could think of some way to isolate him. That's it. I'll wait for him to lower his guard and go into the bathroom. That's where I'll ambush him. I'll just hide in this stall and wait for him to come. Uh huh. Just need him to come closer. Oh, is this him? Eyeless anime protagonist. Closer. Almost there. Now! I finally got you! Mm. You got it. What the hell are you doing? I finally got you all alone. I'm gonna kill you for what you did to me. Put that knife away. Let's talk about this. I've had enough of talking. Nani! Ugh. Tanaka? I thought I killed you. What is he doing here? I thought he was dead. Tanaka is holding a box cutter. Was he planning on surprise attacking me with it? A double ambush? It looks like he stopped in the middle of his, his attack though. Ugh. His movements have completely stopped. Yeah. Looks like I made it in time. Sorry, Yukari. Looks like Tanaka wasn't dead. Try to sneak away and save your boyfriend. I stopped him before he slit your throat though. Thanks! Does he look like... It uh, doesn't look like you're quite done yet, though. Your boyfriend is still looking quite well. Haha, uh -huh, then don't mind if I do. <laughs> this, is just, this is just a silly adventure full of blood and violence. Finally, it's over. So, what now, you Yukari? Get rid of the body so that will never be found, I guess? I see. Well, don't worry too much about that. I can help you. Hey, Miho. Yeah? Thanks. For everything. Don't mention it. Thanks for saving me back there. Tanaka could have killed me. Not a problem, Yukari. I have one question, though. Shoot. Why would you go through all this trouble for me? I mean, there was one... There was a thing with Wakabayashi, but... You could have easily let me die back there. You weren't obligated to do that for me. That's because I like you, Yukari. Yuri End. I care about you. I like you too, Miho. Good to know the feeling's mutual. Now let's get down to business. Yeah. Good end, apparently. <laughs> I guess... I guess that works out. If our accomplice and our murder... Murder Yandere. Amazing. It's just that, you know, just like three people just died. And uh, who cares about them, right? <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. I guess that was Liar Liar. It's pretty short. In fact, it's so short, I could just simply play the sequel right now. So let's just do that. Liar Liar 2. Pants on fire. It's a sequel, apparently. I mean, well, what's gonna happen here? We already killed our boyfriend. As the end, dairy girlfriend stereotype. But what do we do now? I guess let's just start. Oh. Hey, it's you again. Thanks for your help earlier. Yeah, what do we do? Like, I was, I was mentioning it before. We were only ever addressed in the very beginning. Are we really just literally the player? I really appreciate it. Huh? What happened afterwards? Oh, that's real, not really all that important. But I guess if you insist. 
All the bodies have been buried in a safe spot at school. There's no way anyone could find it. That's how safe it is. For that entire fiasco, me and Miho started dating. Miho's so cute. We do a bunch of things together. Like hold hands, degenerates. Go on dates. We even kissed once. Amazing. What? No, we haven't murdered anyone after that. Oh, I thought you'd be like murder waifus together. How rude of you to even ask. Okay. Okay, fine. Maybe one or two of evil. Alright. What's of that look? Okay, okay, fine. It was more than a couple. But no more than ten. What can I say? Miho tends to attract so many weird boys. It's hard to fend them off. It's probably because she's so, so nice to everyone. Just because a girl is nice to you doesn't mean you can get up in her space. But anyways, since we were in our last year of middle school, we graduated. We're high schoolers now. Amazing. Isn't that cool? My uniform is pretty cute, wouldn't you say? Sadly, me and Miho don't attend the same school anymore. But our schools are close enough that we can still go on dates and hang out after school and on the weekends. School is pretty boring without Miho. But I've always been a mood maker, so I've made a lot of friends. Every day has been a blast so far. I'm always so excited for school. And you still have been caught for your crimes. <laughs> so, I wonder how Miho's doing though. Hope she's having fun. Hmm. I guess even if I go to high school, creeps will still be creeps. This guy is so annoying. He's been following me for quite some time. I should probably give him a talking to. And don't these people realize that anyone who's ever followed Miho gets mysteriously disappeared? Mm. Hey, you. I'm talking to you. What do you think you're doing? Huh? I asked you a question. What do you think you're doing? I'm, I'm just walking. So you've been coincidentally walking behind me half an hour? You know, some people would call that stalking. Hey, you're that guy from the occult club. Tomo, what's his face? Totoru Kunikoda. Hmm, whatever. So, Kunikoda, why are you following me? Not gonna talk, huh? Guess I'll just call the police. Oh, wait. I... Oh boy, here we go. Another lovey-dovey confession. Can't boys see that I'm a taken woman? I, I was just asked to follow you around. Hmm? What? I was asked to follow you around and report anything suspicious. What? By who? It was... Well, I wonder what's happening. Do they know about Miho and the Yukari's murder spree? Now everyone, let's settle down. We have a new student here today. He'll be joining our class. Please be nice to him. A transfer student at this time of year? That's pretty weird. And totally not a anime trope at all. Come on in. Thanks. This is Koshi Tanaka. Koshi Tanaka? He'll be joining our class from this day forward. Tanaka's been spending the last few months in the hospital, so he had to transfer late this year. Wait. THE Tanaka? <laughs> You're still alive? There's probably a lot of things he doesn't know. Please take it upon yourselves to teach him things he doesn't understand. Nice to meet you all. Please take care of me. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh no, oh my god. How is he alive? I thought I killed him for sure. Tanaka. Tanaka the immortal never dies. Is this a dream? I must be dreaming. As for seating, why don't you sit next to Minamita over there? Nice to meet you. Or should I say, long time no see. This is no dream. This is a nightmare. Oh no. I've got to let Miho know ASAP that the T Tanaka isn't dead. Oh, Yukari, wait. Adios, Tanaka, you devil lizard. Come on, Miho, make, pick up. Pick up, damn it. Oh, thank goodness you picked up. What's up, Buttercup? You're not gonna believe this. Oh, let me guess. Tanaka isn't dead. Huh? How do you know that? Hmm, it's a bit of a long story, but basically. Who told you to follow me, Toru? 
I want answers. It, it was Tanaka. Koshi Tanaka. That's not possible. N no, it, it is. He asked me just yesterday. Hey, Toro. Long time no see. I know it's sudden, but could I ask you for a favor? Oh my god, Koshi. It's been so long. A favor, of course. Anything for you, Koshi. Hmm. Well, it's a little hard to ask, but... I'll do anything, Koshi. Just name it. What sort of relationship do you have? Well, I want you to follow a friend of mine. I heard she goes to your school. I just need a pair of extra eyes right now. Of course, Koshi. You can count on me. Thanks. I'm really glad I can rely on you. Is that right? Yep. Well, if Tanaka's alive, that means we might be in more trouble than we think. You're right. We're gonna have to check the barrier site immediately and check for the rest of the bodies. There may be a chance that Tanaka isn't the only person who's not dead. <laughs> they, they have risen from the dead, from their graves. And I'm pretty sure the others won't be as benevolent as Tanaka is. You should also try to figure out why he's at your school of all places, Yukari. He surely must have a reason for chasing you all the way there. I got it. I'm gonna try to lose this schmuck Toru at school, and I'll meet you at our middle school. I'll, s I'll see you there. Alright. This is a real problem. Why is Tanaka back? How is he not dead? Hmm. At least with class out, I can go check out the burial site. Yukari! I've been trying to catch you all day, but you've been ignoring me. There's a good reason for that, Tanaka. You were one of the last people I thought I would see here today in the flesh. It's like you crawled out of the depths of hell to come find me. That's weird. I'm sorry? It's fine, but... You do know why I'm here, right? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused. No, I don't actually. I'm here to stop you. Are you now? That's right. What exactly are you going to stop? I'm going to prevent you from killing any more people. Oh, really now? Just how are you gonna do that? I have you know I buried you ten feet under. And I'm not afraid to do it again. Then I'll just come right back. Point taken. Well, Mr. Tanaka, I believe we call this a draw. But how are you going to prevent me from doing as I please? Well, I've got no choice but to follow you exact or follow your exact whereabouts day and night. Uh, this is really starting to get troublesome. Can exactly have Tanaka following me to the burial site. I need a way to shake him off. Come on, you can't even think. <laughs> Damn, I got nothing. Well, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I can't continue being a horrible person and murder people. Oh, you can't Nani? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Right over here. Hey there, you can't How's it going? Oh, it's you, Akira. Hi, Akira. Nice to see you doing well. This is Akira Tobi Tobitaka. He's a senior at our school and he's incredibly popular with the girls here. He's also apparently popular with the girls from other schools as well. I see a bunch of girls in different uniforms take pictures of him from outside the school. I even hear rumors that he's had multiple propositions from girls more than twice his age. He's really well liked since he's so kind, handsome, smart, and good at sports. But honestly, I couldn't care. He's not really my type. No? Who's this Yukari? That's someone I've never seen before. My name's Koshi, Koshi Tanaka. Well, hello there, Koshi. My name's Akira Tobitaka. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you a friend of Yukari's? Oh, of course. I'm friends with everyone in this school. Is that so? So, do you have some kind of business of Yukari, Koshi? Well, he doesn't. He doesn't? Well then, Yukari, why don't you walk home with me? Hey, I have business, business with her. Hmm. No, you don't. The lady said so. Well, Yukari, what'll it be? Who will you go home with? Oh, you could choose. Here's a choice. I guess. I mean, what I want to do is go home by myself, though. I don't care about either of these nerds. I'm going home by myself when I get to the middle school later. Neither. Neither? Don't make me repeat myself. Surely you pick him over him, or should pick me over him. He's just harassing you. 
Excuse me. If anyone's harassing you, it's you. Or harassing anyone, it's you. <laughs> oh, jeez, they're gonna duke it out. Uh, better leave while they're still heated so I can make a clean getaway. Finally, I'm here with all the useless baggage. Hey there. Took a bit, didn't you? Sorry, I had a little baggage I had to get rid of. Good. It's important that we're not followed. I know, Mio. I'm not five. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just mildly creeped out that Tanaka's back. This is how resilient is he. Right. So I guess, I mean, if we don't choose any of them, we just end up here. But I wonder what happens if we do choose, choose someone. Actually. Um... What happens if we go with Akira? I mean, the, I guess the whole point of Akira being here would be like a way to escape from Tanaka, right? Maybe? So... Yeah. Well, this is the exact chance I was waiting for. The perfect opportunity to ditch Tanaka. I was wondering because if we just go home by ourselves, I, w I thought that uh, Tanaka would follow us anyway, but... I guess nothing really interesting happens, so let's, uh, let's try going home with T Akira then. Yukari! Hey. I heard go, Koshi. You heard the lady. Beat it. Fine, so be it. He left. He left. Oh, thank god. After I ditch this numbskull too, I can head over to the burial site and meet up with Miho. So, Yukari, let's walk home together, shall we? Sorry, Akina. I've got plans. Plans? Yeah, plans. Well, I'll be going now. Don't follow me. Finally, I'm here without all the useless baggage. Okay, it's the same. Same thing. But I wonder, well, actually... What happens if... Uh, let's see. What happens if I go Tanaka? I mean, that's a weird choice to make. The whole point is to ditch him, but... Yeah, I don't really care who I go home with. But I'd honestly have Tanaka following me home, then go home with Akina. He's kind of annoying. I'd rather pull off all my toenails and hang out with him. Tanaka, let's go home. Uh, sure thing, you got it. Tanaka smirks in Akira's direction and Akira just scowls. Whatever. I need to check the burial site. I'm sure I could lose this ding dong if I run around enough. Hello, Tanaka. Y Yukari, where are you going? Okay, oh, okay. So even if we cho choose Tanaka, we also still just ditch him anyway. So either way, we just go back here. Alright. I uh, don't know how resilient he is. He's like a zombie. Is Tanaka a zombie? Maybe. Anyway. I don't know, but it really messes up my confidence if he's alive. Tanaka's just an anomaly. I'm sure the other bodies should be fine. I sure hope so. Well, it looks like the burial site is left intact. <laughs> Maybe Tanaka cleaned it up for us after he crawled out. <laughs> Maybe. He seems like the type. If I'm correct, the body should be buried here. <laughs> that can't be right. They're not here. Oh my god. They're back from the dead. Oh no. Zombies. No, that's not possible. Calm down. Vengeful spirits have come to murder us for murdering them. Oh no. Well, let's assume that Tanaka somehow miraculously survived. We buried him here and left. Tanaka might have actually crawled out of this place, then come back later to retrieve the bodies. If he has the bodies, then that's just evidence that can be used against us. The priority here is to figure out where he hid the bodies. And after we've found them all, we need to get rid of Tanaka once and for all. And make sure he never comes back this time. We really are- we really are the villains, aren't we? Agreed. A stabbing or two was- was much too kind for him. Well, now that's settled, we need to get Tanaka and make him confess. Alright. Oh ho! Oh. It paid off to follow Yukari after all, uh huh? I'm learning so much about you, Yukari. Do we have a fan now? Oh no. Tanaka didn't show up to school today. I wonder what's up. I need to know where he put the bodies. Hmm. There's no note in my desk. It's from Akira. Come meet me in room 401 after class. I wonder if he's pissed off that I blew him off yesterday or something. I guess I better go. I don't want him to besmirch my good name at school. Not to mention the fact that you murdered a bunch of people. No sense right here. Well, I guess I better open the door. Come again. Anyone in here? 
How now? Why, nice of you to join us, Yukari. Were you looking for him? Ugh. Yukari, run! Now be quiet, Koshi. What's going on, Akira? I don't remember yesterday when you didn't go home with me. Well, I wondered what's so important you couldn't take me along. And it turns out you've done a bunch of things you shouldn't have, right? And it also turns out that little Koshi here has been nothing but a nuisance to you. So I thought I'd help you get rid of him. What do you say, Yukari? Mind lending me a hand? Uh... I don't know. You, I guess you can just add another murder buddy in our alliance? Or maybe not, I don't know. Do we trust Akira? Tanaka is a nuisance to us. I mean, we have a we have a choice to help Tanaka, but why would we? That's kind of weird. I mean, well, I guess in a way, what we could do is kill Akira and then kill Tanaka when he's off when his guard is down. Maybe. Hmm. What would Yukari do? I don't know. Yukari doesn't like uh, either of these people. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense. We just kill Akira now, right? Oh, no, or rather kill Tanaka now, rather, and just help help him out. I guess. Why not? Well, sorry, Tanaka. I don't care too much for you enough to save you. I'm glad you agree. Goodbye, Tanaka. Bleh. And goodbye to you, Yukari. Oh, we're gonna get killed again. God damn it. Just like last time. Just like last time. Never trust boys. Never trust boys, because they also turn Yandere and murder you. What's going on? Oh, you're awake, goody! Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, that's for me to know and for you to find out. Like was positioning me in front of a mirror. You know, you've always fascinated me, Yukari. You could get- I could get practically any girl except for you. I guess it's in my nature to want things that I can't have. Oh, the possibilities are so endless. He's shuffling me around. I can't move. I feel like a puppet. My leg is so heavy. You know, Yukari, I'm not interested in girls who will love me unconditionally. That's so completely and utterly boring. The more they struggle, the better I say. I'm not interested in girls who love me. I'm more interested in girls like you. A girl who struggles, a girl who fights, a girl who won't return my affections. Just the thought of you struggling against me as I destroy you sends shivers down my spine. Everyone is everyone is just crazy, except Tanaka. Well, he's a zombie now, so I don't know. Well, I mean, is that crazy? I'd imagine being a zombie might might make you emotionally fucked up, considering you came back from the dead. I don't know. Anyway, I have to get out of here. I'm so sleepy. Ah -ha -ha. He stepped on my foot. You can't fall asleep. We haven't even gotten to the good part. To, to the good part. Good part. You see this mirror here I put you in front of? Well, I'm going to make you watch. I'll rip off all your fingernails and toenails one by one. And while you bleed, I'll pull out all of your teeth. And while you scream and cry and beg for me to stop, I'll remove your eyelids so you can't look away. Oh goodness, there's so many things I want to try with you. Talking about it would ruin the fun. I'll make it as last as long as I can, Yukari. You're so special to me after all. Don't you worry. It'll be great! Someone. Anyone. Please help me. Let's begin. And end. <laughs> well. Akira's plaything. Oopsie doozy. That's why you shouldn't trust a crazy person. Even if you're, you're, you yourself is a, cra is a crazy person. <sighs> Yanderis don't work well together because they end up trying to murder each other. Well, now that we know that, let's get rid of Akira if we can. Now. No. Let him go, Akira. I still need him. Yeah, I guess we do. In a practical way, we need to know where the bodies are. 
Oh, jeez. And here I was doing a favor for a girl I liked. I didn't ask you to do anything for me. You just decided to do it yourself. Oh, Yukari. You really just know what to say to piss me off. I don't care about what you think. I don't care about what you think of me. Don't touch Tanaka. Don't order me around, you female pig. Oh, you've done it now, Aikira. What? Aw, oh, man. We still get injured either way. That's what insolent girls like you get. I, I can't breathe. Oh, damn, I should have known he was concealing a weapon. And there's more where that's coming from. Get away from her. Tanaka pushes Akira out of the way and grabs my hand. We both run to the nearest room and lock the door. Even if we run, I don't think I'm gonna make it. My vision's starting to blur. I think we outran him. I'll lock the door for now, so I think we're safe. Are you okay, Yukari? Um, weird that you're worried about us since we murdered you, but okay. I would say something smart, but all I can do is gurgle blood right now. Oh jeez, you're bleeding so much. Open up! I know you're in there. Dang it. We're totally screwed. Found you. Bad end. Totally boned. Nani? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute, so then what do we do? We don't have a choice, right? So, hmm. Either way, we end up screwed. What do we do, actually? Maybe go back here? I know the first choice I picked, at least for this save file anyway, I picked go home by myself. So maybe... let's see... What if we go with Tanaka then? Hmm. And skip. I wonder, yeah, maybe if we go with Tanaka and then, um... Don't let Akira get a close of us? Maybe that'll help? I don't know. No, 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 no. Maybe there'll be a different ending now? I mean, we still get slashed in the throat though, so I don't know. Yeah, bad end. Wait, what? Nani! Now I'm confused, because I don't remember what the choices we could make in the beginning. Uh... Yippoo. Hmm. So maybe we do have to go with Akira? Because that's the choice I didn't make yet, so maybe choose this? I'll go home by myself, go with Akira, fine, I don't know. Hmm, okay. I am skipping, but it's not skipping, okay? So maybe it is. Maybe you have to go with Akira first, okay? Not five. Aha, uh -huh, I know, I know. I'm just mildly creeped out that Tanaka's back. Just how resilient is he? Mm, but they're saying the same thing though, I don't know. Yeah, because when I was skipping, it stopped here, but I don't see anything new. Usually when you skip things, you see stuff that you already went through, right? Oh, okay. Usually when uh, they finish talking, about Tanaka, we see a little scene where um, Akira followed followed us, but he didn't actually. So maybe yeah, maybe we satisfied his curiosity the first time when we made that choice to walk with him. But then, well, we we end up ditching him anyway. So, hmm, okay, this is the perfect time to confront Tanaka. Second, like the school day is over. Hey Tanaka, I need to talk to you. Totally not gonna murder you or anything. You wanna talk? To me? What's of that luck? You're kind of hurting my feelings. Well, your talks tend to get me stabbed, so I hope you can understand my apprehension. Fine, fair enough. I still need to talk to you, though. Well, out with it then. Jeez, what's your tact? I'm a dainty lady. I deserve to be spoken to gently. You kind of lost that, right, when you stabbed me. 
twice. Well, geez, I'm so sorry for murdering you. I wasn't aware that I was talking to Mr. Sensitive Guy here. <laughs> uh, apparently, getting killed is you being... Like, complaining about getting killed is you being sensitive. I don't know. Whatever. I'm getting sidetracked. I need to know what you did with the bodies. What? I'll play dumb. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I... Don't actually... That's ridiculous. Of course you know. Where else would they go if you didn't take them? They're gone? What do you mean they're gone? Is Tanaka lying about not knowing? I can't really tell. Tanaka is definitely hiding something. But he might not actually have anything to do with this. But if he's not responsible for this, then who is? Hmm. Either way, Tanaka is way too suspicious. I just know that he's hiding something. I just need to figure out what it is. I wonder if Miho figured anything out. No. Well, school is done for the day, though. I should talk to Toru today to find out what's going on with Tanaka. If I'm correct, the occult club room should be around here. Oh, it's uh, we're Miho, okay. Hey, it's me, assistant school president. Open up. Hmm, no answer. Maybe he's not here? No, that's not possible. He's usually always here if he's not following me, and he stopped that yesterday. He is, after all, the only member of the occult club. A club needs to consist of more than four members to remain a club. The student press is all up in my business to get rid of this club, but Toru is just so persistent about how he'll get enough members in this club next time. The student press is just way too nice. If I was the press, I would get rid of this ridiculous club. Come on, Toru, I know you're in there. I'm coming in anyways. Oh, you were in here after all. Not answering my calls, huh? Well, whatever. I've got a few questions I want you to answer, if you don't mind. I, I do mind. Please, leave me alone. No can do. You're gonna answer my questions whether you like it or not. Someone stole the bodies. Well, I didn't do it. But if I didn't, who did? Or rather, is that- Oh, is this Tanaka? Actually, yeah, Tanaka's speaking. I didn't do it. Who did? It was probably her. I need to go talk to her. Hey. Hey, you there. You with the eyebrows. Oh, Minami. Yes. Some guy outside wants to talk to you. Says he's a friend of yours? A friend of yours? Minami. I mean, did we kill her boyfriend, technically? Well, it was our boyfriend, but we also it was also her boyfriend, because the boyfriend was cheating. I, don't, I wonder if she's salty about that. Hmm. I'll go talk to him then. Thank you. Hmm. So what do you want? I heard from Yukari that the body has disappeared. And I think you're responsible for it. What could ever lead you to that conclusion? Look, Minami. After I crawled myself out of my own grave, I went to the hospital for several months. They said it was a miracle that I even survived. What exactly does this have to do with our current conversation? When I was flipping in and out of consciousness near death, I made a decision. That I would do whatever it takes to stop your sister and her girlfriend from killing ever again. And I would let, I would let you know what happened to your boyfriend. The only person I've told about the burial site is you, Minami. Hmm. There's no way that any other person would know about it. I honestly don't have a clue what you're talking about. At least look me in the eye when you lie, Minami. <laughs> Poor Tanaka, he's the only person trying to do good and everyone else is crazy and evil. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm not lying. I honestly don't believe her. There's no possible way that anyone else knows about this. But how am I going to possibly fish it out of her? Should I just retire for now and figure out a way to get the answers out of her later? Hmm. 